So I think the biggest takeaway from last night is something that we saw that many, of, particularly Republican hawks, said that we would not see. You know, since Paris, since the San Bernardino attacks, hawks within the GOP have been saying that we need a more aggressive foreign policy. We need to do more of what we've done in the past, even though it didn't work. Well, you know, to them, there's two choices in our foreign policy. There's the regime change that Barack Obama wants to do in Libya and Syria that they say isn't aggressive enough, and the more aggressive regime change, like we saw with Bush, Cheney, and the Iraq War, for example. Well, last night on that debate stage, we saw Senator Rand Paul say, no, Chris Christie, we don't want to start World War III with a no-fly zone and shooting down Russian planes. We saw Ted Cruz tell Marco Rubio and others on that stage, no, it's probably not a good idea to overthrow secular dictators, creating destabilization and letting ISIS fill that vacuum. So what we saw on that debate stage last night was something that wasn't supposed to happen if you're a Republican hawk. There is no foreign policy consensus within the Republican Party right now. A lot of people, Ted Cruz and Rand Paul in particular, and even Donald Trump, some of the things he said, are uncomfortable with what we did in Iraq, in Libya, in Syria. Regime change does not help the United States. It's a debate that needed to happen within the Republican Party. We saw it last night on that debate stage, and it's one that we hope can continue as we head further into 2016.